and Danny Fever. News of my right after yet another Christmas song. <laughs> Another Christmas song? Bah humbug, all this nonsense is about Christmas, I can hardly stand it. Come on, tis the season to be jolly. Yeah, right, everyone I know gets grumpy, more grumpy than usual during the Christmas season. All this warm, fuzzy music, I don't think I can play another one of these songs. How did you ever become a disc jockey if you don't like playing music? Obviously, my good looks. It's good looks. Well, you do have a face for radio. Hey, Westman, is that weather report ready to go? Give me a minute. Have you seen all these weather bulletins? Any more paper comes off that window? It's going to look like a hurricane in here. Hurricane sounds right. Look out the window. Well, at least all I know is I've got one more commercial left to play, so you better get moving. K-I-N-G Christmas. Mars here, back with weather in just a moment, and there's a lot of bad weather out there. So listeners, make sure you have batteries for those radios. Don't miss a minute of the classic Christmas Eve program, Listens and Carols, straight from Cambridge, England. And now, our long-awaited weather report from KING weatherman, East Westman. Thank you, Janie. KING listeners, it's time to prepare for the approaching storm. The National Weather Service has issued a hurricane warning for the entire area, creating very dangerous conditions, heavy rain, high winds, and a tornado warning. So please stay inside and stay tuned to KING Radio for further updates. This just in. The State Patrol is closing down portions of Highway 24. Stay safe, stay put, and stay tuned, listeners. While you're heating up the hot chocolate and finding the extra batteries, here's some yes, some more wonderful Christmas music for your listening and enjoyment. Man, I got a bunch of folks here. A children's tour on their Christmas tour. We could show you a place to take children. They're closing down Highway 24. That's just awful. Did you try a hotel? Yes, ma'am, but you know how it is in this time of year. No room at the end. Oh my, well, of course. Come on in. Out of the cold, everybody. Jesus Christ. 
team, I've got good news and bad news. As you know, we have a big hair hurricane headed this way. An entire children's choir, along with their director and bus driver, has just taken refuge here at the station. That's bad. No, that's good. They got off the highway in time, and they're all safe now. We don't have much time before the hurricane starts. That's bad. No, that's good. We push play on the English Christmas Eve program. Pack up and get out of here. No, no, I'm afraid not, Janny. We are the emergency broadcast station for this area. It's our duty to stay here and inform the public. That's good. We have a job to do. No, that's bad. This new alert says the electric lines are breaking off. They expect power to go out within the hour. Wow, that is bad. Oh, we got a generator. <laughs> that's good. No, that's bad. The generator limits what we can broadcast. All we can use are the microphones. No turntables, no special programs. Now that's good. No more Christmas music. Now what we're going to do is come up with a Christmas Eve broadcast on our own. What? Us? What? That's bad. No, that's good. I just spoke to the director of the Children's Choir, and she has graciously offered their services to provide the music for our program. How can you write something up for us? Me? I write commercials and public service announcements, not Christmas programs. Oh, come on, Haley. At our church, we have these two old ladies that write one every year. How hard can it be? Well, okay, but I need some time and some ideas and maybe a Christmas miracle. I think the Christmas miracle ship has sailed, Haley. We're on our own and soon to be powerless. We are never on our own, Danny, and we are never powerless. God is always with us. Now you all pray, and I'll get my Bible and get started writing that program. Okay, let's get busy, people. We have a Christmas program to put together, and listeners, keep informed. <laughs> Here you go. There, copy. What is this? That's your part for our Christmas program. But so what I need a script to? I don't need a. What is this? What am I gonna do with a book? That's a Bible, Janny. But I've never read. You know the Bible, Janny, where the real story of Christmas comes is found. Now, I've marked all these places where you read. Just go in order, and it will be, well, I hope it'll be. It'll be great, Haley. Nice job. OK, if I can have your attention, everyone. Our choir is in place. Microphones are set up. You guys just give me the cue when you're ready to go. A cue? They're right there on the sticky note. Huh, how do our ancestors ever get through this hurricane without sticky notes? <laughs> Yay. Looks like we're up and running. Well, as much as possible with the generator, right? Fabulous. Okay, Jenny and Mars, let's give Christmas to our listeners. Okay, folks, here we go. Everybody ready? K I N G Christmas. Back on the air. We might be running on a backup generator, but we have tons of holiday cheer and are ready to bring you a Christmas Eve program to remember. Joining us in this studio this evening, we have a busload of young people who have taken shelter from the storm here at KING. Gertie, what can you tell us about our guests? Well, Mars, 
We just happened to have an entire choir all the way from Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. You're kidding me! Well, how about that, K-I-N-G listeners? A choir straight from Bethlehem. They look just like little angels. <laughs> and now, on this dark and stormy Christmas Eve night, we present to you K-I-N-G's original production of The Light of Christmas, created by our very own Haley Nichols! Because Joseph was the descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home, to register for the census. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, his fiancée, who was now great with child. And while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. For she gave birth to her first child, a son. She wrapped him in swaddling cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn.
the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared among them. The radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Do not be afraid, he said. I bring good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David, and you will recognize him by this sign. You will find the baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. Suddenly, an angel, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those whom God is pleased. When the angels returned to heaven, the shepherds took, said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, that which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing them, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. Jesus Christ our Lord. All glory, majesty, power, and authority are his before all time, in, in the present and beyond all time. 
general, Jenny, but with Jesus there is life and light. There is hope and power for living. And most importantly, forgiveness for any and every bad thing we've ever done or thought or said out loud, even on the radio. Yes, that's it. I, that's what I've been missing. This, sing, this one single little baby. He changed the world. He really is the light of the world. And he came to save me. This is fantastic. Man, we should have some Christmas music. What? You want to play another Christmas song? Play, play one? No way. Let's sing one. Oh, 
photo op. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If I can get one photo op with all the kids up here one last time, but with your hat on. Everybody find your hat and come up. Okay, I'm going to give you that. All right, let's, I'll tell you what, cut the lights back on. If anybody wants to take pictures, this will, they'll get a little bit better light here, too. During the um, year, and I'd like to recognize these uh, people for their excellent work they've done this year. And Joseph Ann, thanks for a great job that you've done with the kids this year. And I have something for each one of you. Thank you. Joseph Ann. Pastor Ben, I have something especially for you. Thank you. Todd. Thanks, sir. And thank you all for all your stuff that you do in the church in the year's time. Thank you all very much. The elves that were behind the stage here, <laughs> Josie and Renee were back there. We thank you for that work that you did. And now we hope that everyone will come join us in the fellowship room. And let's have a Merry Christmas and let that continue. Come on.